So, how did you two meet? I was matched with Jesus a year ago. He made the effort to reach out to me. I saw his profile a few times and was curious, but I didn't really know him well until I got matched. It's true. I sent her a dove emoticon to her messenger along with a quote from my friend John. We hit it off pretty fast. We met at a Starbucks. I got the caramel latte mocha frappuccino with oat milk. I brought water from home. I don't need all that sugar. I gave him an icebreaker. I told him to tell me two truths and a lie, and I have to guess the lie. I was uncomfortable with the lie, so I told her three truths. It was a really easy game. He looked in my eyes after and said, Hey, do you want to be rescued from a world of darkness, confusion, and lostness? I was like, <laughs> whoa there, Mr. Smooth. This is the first date. I need to think about this. I knew it was a big decision for her, so I gave her time to think it over. I sent a few quotes from my friends John and Peter to help her make an informed decision. Hey, the next morning I had made my decision. Jesus and I started getting into a serious relationship. I was overjoyed. I think she made the best decision of her life. What kind of dates do you guys go on? He's a reader. He invites me to a lot of book clubs. Most of the books are about him. We went to this karaoke, TED talk, and wine bar. That was really cool. I took her to church. It seems, it seems like every date we go on, I learn something amazing about him. His dad is also famous and pretty wealthy. He is the inventor of everything. It's a pretty old business. Any fancy or romantic dates? He keeps telling me about a huge feast he wants to bring me to. I love throwing feasts. I was looking for a man with a steady career. Jesus seemed very stable as a carpenter. I am also a shepherd, a lord, a king, a counselor, a fisherman, and a food bank manager. Aren't you a doctor too? You know a lot about blood. Guilty. It's amazing he has so much time for me with all of those jobs. Did I hear you have plans for marriage in the future? <laughs> oh yeah, he popped the question last night. When's the big day? I don't know. He won't tell me. You will just have to wait. He won't even let me plan it. He just tells me it will be beyond my wildest budget and it will involve white horses. What are some things about each other that you don't like? Mm, that's a tough question. Sometimes he asks me to do some hard things. He took me to a soup kitchen to help out and I felt uncomfortable. Don't know if I'm crazy about that. One day you will be. And what about you, Jesus? There were a lot of things I wanted to change about her. I couldn't force her to change them. But I could die on a cross to forgive them. Most guys give flowers on the first date. Jesus gave me death and resurrection as a substitution for my sins. Wow, that seems huge. What advice can you give the young people about your relationship? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Your friend John is so poetic. Yeah, I helped him with that one. My advice is don't order a garlic dish on your first date. If you do, have mints handy. I have such an amazing life for her, one filled with love and purpose. Till death do us part. Um. Actually longer.